Hey everyone, welcome back to my gaming channel. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a, over two weeks that I've been in game. And also it's been a while since I've released a recording. Sorry about that. I've been under the weather uh, quite a bit. I've been <laughs> in bed just trying to recover. So I'm actually lost for where we are. I went through the last episode and we've set up this in a previous episode. Um all the machines to do all the processing and things and i remember we needed to get the basic energy cube for backup storage <coughs> of energy sorry and also the energized smelter and then we'll have to get upgrades for it so that we can process everything that needs to be processed <laughs> um yeah we are at max capacity so that we can smelt items i've also off cam but that was after the last episode i've went and got some sheep so to get more um wool going so you can make more elevator blocks i actually need to <laughs> revisit where i put this elevator block i think this is not really going to work maybe i should put it on the outside yeah i think that I think that's exactly where I'm going to put it. I think this will work out much better. Yeah, then it's in the... In the... Um, corner and it's easy to go there and do the thing and not have to, having to worry exactly where I look to be oh didn't mean to do that uh, doesn't matter where I look to use it Ooh, okay that's still fine <clears throat> at least it gives indication where it is I need to remember what is where. <laughs> okay, anywho, so let's get to it. The sheep is also quieted, muted. Um, this mute, we have this muting uh, mod going on. I <laughs> muted the entities. The sheep steps and the just some blaring. <clears throat> okay, so please excuse my voice where it's happening or not happening. Okay, so mechanism stuff. Where's the mechanism stuff? I think I yep, I put it there. Okay, so we're going to need that. Glass, machine frame. Oof, we're actually going to need a lot of stuff. So let's see what's first. Let's make a machine frame. Going to need steel, glass, and osmium. Don't have either of those. Okay, so we have steel dust. Don't I have any? Hmm. Let's just do this. That should be sufficient. Sorry, I'm going to be a bit slow today, trying to catch up on where we were. <clears throat> okay, glass redstone. Glass there, redstone should be here. Okay, got that one, and then we have this one. Right, so now we have Osmium Smelter. So you will automatically pull the top piece output, left input, auto eject. And there we go. Okay, you are so noisy. So let's put you in a geyser. I at least want to know it's running. Okay, so let's... Okay, so that's done. Let's see, what upgrades can you take? Upgrades, you can take speed, energy... Okay, speed and energy. So, do we have that? <laughs> I doubt it. Um, 
Oh, we only have one. Nice. This one. Do we need this? How do we make this? Metallurgic infuser. This one, right? Oh, and that's why I needed this, I think. There we go. How many upgrades? Only speed. Really, we actually need a, quite a few. Upgrades still going, but it's fine. We'll, <clears throat> we'll be able to make them a lot quicker as... Ooh, running out of energy. Now we can actually see what we generate. Because I wanted to see this in a previous episode, but... Reducing 30. So I actually want to put another one right there. go now how much are you doing 38 okay so that actually does it quite a bit so that actually does a bit oh, come on see having one around each pushes the yield to 38 versus 29 so that's almost 40 okay so i'm definitely going to do that off cam to be increase the yield just just one lava block at that block and lava bucket and it increases yield that much more uh, because you definitely need energy and that's why we want to have a block right here <clears throat> the energy block energy cube will be right here it will take in the energy from that side and we'll distribute it to the bottom and wherever we want it and also we are going to we already have one going up energy cable so this is for solar panels we need to look into solar panels i wonder if you want to do that today as well yeah let's fix the energy i'm gonna go grab more lava i only have five so i'll go grab more lava grab a few more glass blocks because we are going oh we have connecting glass So did that one not connect properly? No, you did not. Okay, cool. Good to know. Yep, that looks better. Okay, and then I'll put lava right there on the intersections. One, two. Oh, you know what? We have enough. Let's do that. There we go. That's good enough, right? Yes, I believe so. And not long, then we'll... <coughs> Excuse me. See, that's passive gen. Well, it's nighttime and we're running around. So that will passively gen... Well, all our energy is actually going to be passive gen because we are going to get solar panels in a minute. Okay, you are running. I'm just gonna make a few more of these speed upgrades. You're only going to give me three, seriously. And no, energy, glass. So you don't. Why don't you use a connected texture glass? Well, it doesn't matter. I don't mind. Four energy. Nope. Speed. It's fine. Okay, so you take that. And you take that. Now you are maxed out. You use two hundred FE per tick. <laughs> oh, wow, that's more than our thing down there can handle. Okay, so you only take two if you tick. And your slowest setting, which is probably fine. I 
Uh, so this is for manual processing and this is for the line yep that's how it was Richmond I believe it's like why don't you oh you don't have power oh yeah hmm you don't have power at the back you know what I'm thinking maybe I should move all this down so the auto processing goes to the bottom and that these two stay on top hmm maybe I should do that quickly so then all the auto processing stuff happens here So this is the things that make us oxygen for uh, and it's dark let me quickly sleep one second okay i want to revamp this whole area <coughs> excuse me okay so these ones make oxygen for us okay so we are going to use oxygen in other things as well so i'm going to keep them here okay but we are going to change how the water and everything goes through okay water I need to get a magnet soon okay the problem is you need water let's put the water in the back Okay, so mechanical fluids. Okay, this is fluids, yes. Okay, so fluids inject. Ah, uh, input. Yes, sorry, my bad. And you are input to the back. Fluids input in the back, sorry. Items is not going anywhere. Items is not going anywhere. Okay. So gases is going to output on the top. Okay, gases, no gases. It's going to output on the top. Okay. So you are not going to be needed anymore there. Hmm. Okay. It's fine. Okay, so gases are going to output. Where's a pump? Days. Sorry. Okay, so you still work. You have your upgrades. Eight, eight. Great. Should have still some of these blocks. Yes, there we go. Okay, great. Purification chamber. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's the last one, right? No, no. Um, it's the last one. So I'm going to have them the wrong way around. Okay. So where the energized smelter was at the end, I'm going to have it first. Okay. The reason is because the line can still continue quite a bit. Okay. Actually, no, I want to move you forward. You know what? I want to move all these, this whole row back. 
move this back. Uh, it's like I don't can't decide what I want to do. Okay, let me quickly move it back. Wait one second. Okay, I think this is how I want to do it. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Okay. So, the power comes in over. I had it underneath the ground for some reason. I don't know why I did that, because I want everything to go to the same energy cube and then distribute to everything. So that one up there distributes to the machines at the top, and this one to the bottom, and the energy cube will be right there. <clears throat> okay, so these two are making the oxygen, okay? So let's go back to gases. So you are not going to output at the top, you are going to output at the front. Okay, same with this one, gas is not going to output at the top, you're going to output at the front. So that way, where's the gas? Gases. Okay, you're dumping excess and you're dumping excess, great. Okay, so this one does not, this one only process Energized smelter, so you can be at the front, okay? So that's how we had it. This was the last stage, okay? Then it went and put, dumped it into that chest, okay? Because that was the output. So the output is going to be here on the top, okay? Cool. So we can actually have logistical transporters pipes. It can be right there. Okay, now that we have this, now we can actually hide it a lot better. Nope, not what I wanted to do. Okay, see now it will be hidden. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem at all. Okay, so let's close up the rest of the hole. Oh, do we need more? Cobblestone, not a problem. Is it dark outside? Yes, it is. Okay, let me quickly sleep one second. Okay. Sorry, I know uh, we just built, we actually just did the whole machines and the basement thing. Um, but I didn't really like how it turned out. Okay. So please excuse me for that one. Um, do we have more of these? No, doubt it. Okay, but we'll get more. Not a problem. Okay, so let's put you there, you there. Okay, we'll close up. Oh, we can't close up that. That's fine. We just need to close up that. Okay, so you are going to be the last. So with energy, items, I'll put it at the top. Okay, energy is input at the bottom. Okay, items is input at the right okay so then it was an enrichment chamber right okay so energy is going to be from the bottom okay items where it is now is output so blue uh, input and output just need to swap there we go. And I think. Oh, it's a purification chamber that needs oxygen. Okay, not a problem. And we'll just put another gas chamber here. Okay, and you're getting your oxygen, great. Okay, so um, gases, input is a back, great. Um, items is input at the top. Oh, why are you, nothing there. Um, and 
left is output, right? Gases is input at the back, energy is input at the bottom. Okay, cool. And then we have a crusher, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so you are energy input at the bottom, items, output, input is going to be at the top. Okay, so we have a whole line for automatic things. So, that will be the input. Okay. And output will have to go there. Okay, now... Now we have a problem. See, these are the automatic of manual machines. So let's just put them there for now. See what I think we can do. I think we can run power inside the wall what do you guys think in place of the front oh no one higher my bad hmm. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, let's do this. There we go. Um, how do I want to do this? Okay, because drop off just needs to be here. Okay. Okay, let's just use this one. And we need logistic pipes. Let me quickly make a few. Okay. So you are going to be drop off. Now we can actually have a drop off any place we want. <clears throat> um, yeah, because I don't really want it there. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to have drop off here. Okay, um, so you're going to have to be a logistical nightmare piping it over. Not a problem though. Um, okay, what else? So you can... Uh, now this is input, that's output. Oh, bummer. Okay, I'm changing the input to the crusher to the right because um, other machines over here is going to push to the left as well. Okay, and input is going to be from there. Okay, so you are going to do this. So this is future, kind of future proofing, not really, <laughs> but kind of. Hey, we have enough of these. Oh, we need to fill that. Okay, so input is going to be up here. So output will be at the top here. Okay, so let's just use that for now. Okay, let me show you. So this will be the drop off chest. Okay. This gold chest will we will drop off everything in here, and eventually when we have an inner chest, this will be changed with the inner chest. So everything we drop in here and it will sort get sorted. So down below we'll have a sorting system running here. Okay, we'll have an extract system that exports all items to the correct spot and then it goes, the correct items go to the left that need to be processed and the items that just needs a place will go to the right because this will be our storage wall. Okay, I'll show you that in a future episode. Um, I'll sort out how I want to do the whole 
power here. I'm not sure yet. Because it also needs to have outputs and input stuff. Maybe it can run on the outside into this chest. Because these also will need to output. So everything I dump in here will have to go into the system. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should just keep on going with this line. So pretty much the same we're doing over there. So we take you. Put you there. Let's just pick up this one. Not going to be able to pick it up um, because it's going to fall. Obviously, this one. So you're going to be there. And all the outputs. And we have one more of these. Hey, we do have more great stuff. There we go, and that looks neat now. Okay, so in the next episode, we are going to do our energy cube. This little brilliant thing. And in an episode after that, we are going to look into tools. Magnet, to, magnet ring and... Do I have another magnet ring of sunshine ring of return? Um, magnet. Let's see what magnet is easiest to get. There's a magnet ring. We need Britannia. I also, I, any case, want to go Britannia. But this one actually makes it a lot easier, to be honest. Because it's cheap. It's much cheaper making that than this early game. And we, can act, uh, we can't go that one yet, but we can definitely get that one. Ring of attraction. Okay, um, we also have that one. That's even more cheap. But I don't know how far it is. I know this one, when we get to this, we have a filter option. So I really want to get to that order. So yeah, we're going to go that route. But yeah, for now, let's call the episode. I need to go sleep. And I need to... Um, why is there a sheep outside? Did you get out? Or are you just a new spawn? Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, um, but for now, let's go to episode. We'll come back in the next episode. I'll sort out on that mess over there and sort out the piping, make a few more pipes, and I'll show you exactly what I mean by the sorting. We're not going to have all that chess in any case, so maybe I must move that chess over there, just out of the way for now. Uh, and yeah, then we can do that in the next episode. But for now, let's go to episode. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe. Well, for now, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!